So you clicked on this video trying to figure out how Intel graphics cards keep auto going onto your computer instead of your GeForce graphics. What is up guys, I'm Richard Arndt and I'm going to show you how in order to fix your Intel graphics card from not being able to use your GeForce graphics card. Now why would you want to switch this over? Well, if you play VR on a laptop that doesn't support it, then this is the easiest way in order to use your graphics card. So if you have an Asus Tough Gaming A17, whether it's the 15 inch, the 17 inch, or any gaming laptop that won't allow you to play VR, I keep saying that you're not uh, doesn't have enough requirements or anything like that, or your graphics card isn't strong enough, this is how you're gonna fix it. So basically, this is only meant really for VR. Some games may say this stuff, but you can also fix it this way too. So all you wanna do is you wanna come to your home screen of your laptop or PC and you want to bring up this menu right here. So you're going to left click on your laptop home screen or PC home screen. You're going to see this right here, Navita control panel. You want to click on that and open it. So it might take a second to load. VR on a laptop, always plug it in because it could fry your whole computer because it will just get very, very hot and cause it to crash. So always make sure you plug your laptop in if you're going to play VR on it. So what you want to do is you want to come into settings. If you're not, if you don't see any of this, you want to click 3D settings at the top. And then you can just click show physics virtual indicator. And then you're going to see right here, it says adjust image setting with preview, manage 3D settings, and configure physics X. So what you want to do is you want to click on adjust image. And you're going to see right here, you might have it on this one, or it might be on the bottom one. You want to make sure it's in use the advanced 3D image. You want to keep it on this because this is going to give you the best quality. And the image will look a lot sharper, especially when you're playing VR. And if it asks you to drag this up, make sure it's all the way on quality because you want that to be on quality. Now second, you're going to come over to Manage 3D Settings. Now when you're in this, you're going to see a bunch of crap over here. This is just stuff you don't need to worry about. You're going to see right here, it's probably already going to be on Auto Select. So you want to click this and put it on High Performance Navita Processor. Now if you don't put this on this, VR games will not run because it's always going to try to force it on Intel graphics because the computer itself does not want to overheat its system. Because Oculus, when you connect it through the link cable, or if you just have a rift, it overheats the system very easily. That's why I say to plug it in and have your fan on high speed. Now, in order to play VR, you might want to have an extra fan or air conditioner. So what you want to do now is you want to make sure this is high performance. So basically, this is going to allow you to enable to play Oculus and Steam VR games. Even if you want to just play regular games as well, enable that. So now you're going to come down to configure surround. So if this is apply changes, just click yes. Uh, it might not say that for you, but you do want to make sure you click apply at the bottom. So now when this loads up, you're going to see in the processor right here, it's going to say auto select the most likely. So what you want to do is you want to switch that to GeForce. Now when it's in GeForce, you want to click apply. So that way it saves it. And it's going to say applying changes. And that's going to basically set your whole laptop just to use your GeForce RTX 3050 or whatever processor you have into your AMD. Or any processor you have, it's going to basically auto put it on there. So now once you have that, you're basically all set. Now your Oculus if it still does not work what you want to do is you want to come down you can close this out you're going to come down to the search bar and you're going to go to graphic settings and you wait for that to load now you see here it says desktop app you want to leave it on desktop app you're going to click browse and then you're going to go down to your oculus files which would be for me it just pops up but basically you want to go through your folders anything that says exe with the oculus on here if you're playing oculus you want to add everything with exe so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. Let's just say this you want it to add, which you're going to need to when you find it in your folders. You're going to click the add button down here. What's that's going to do? It's going to add it to the bottom over here where I have all these. So what you're going to do is you, when you click on them, it's, it's going to say options. You're going to click options and you want to put this on high performance. You don't want to put it on power saving because that's going to be on your TM graphics card. You want it on the Vita GeForce and you're going to click save. Now once that's saved, you can just click off and you'll notice now it's running off a of high performance at the bottom right here. High performance, high performance. This is just basically from Asus, so you don't have to worry about that, and your client EXE. So right now I would take pause the video or take a screenshot of this. You need Oculus Client EXE, you need the OVR server EXE, you need the OVR service launcher, and then you need the OVR reader. These all have to be added. They should all be in your folders on your Oculus and EXE. You want to add all them. Um, I moved mine out of my folder so I wouldn't know where they are. Once it's saved, you can now open up your Oculus. It should load very fast. And you're going to notice at the top when this loads, it's actually going to say that your computer does not meet the requirements. So all you have to do is click X, and there you go. And it says your laptop is not currently to connected to a power source. Here's what I'm saying here. You need this to be connected to a power source for this to work. 
So once it's connected to a power source, you can plug in your Oculus, and everything should load up very fast and quick, and you should have no issues at all. If you have any issues, let me know in the comments down below. I will take it up with you, and I will help you out. But as of now, all you need to do is those simple steps, and that will just transfer everything from Intel graphics into NVIDIA GeForce graphics, and that will basically enable you to play VR. Now, it will be very annoying when you connect your headset. It's always going to say that you do not meet the minimum requirements, but do not worry about that. You will 100% be able to play any Basically any game as long as your graphics card can handle it depending on what graphics card you have. I don't believe a 1650 Ti will be able to handle VR. It might, but not every game. But I know the 3050 that I have has actually been pretty good to me with the VR games. I mean, I've never had a problem. I've played VR Chat. I've played Pavlov. I've played um, Google Earth. I've played a lot of games on there, and I've never really had a problem. Sometimes you get a little frame rate drop if your computer gets hot. Basically a brand new laptop, and you just did what I did and you're only downloading it for VR, you should be perfectly fine. Just remember to always plug in your computer because that's definitely going to save you from destroying your whole computer. And if this helped you, leave a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments down below if you need any help, I will be there to help you. And also if you see other comments and they need help and you already know how to do it, help them out. And I will make another video if you guys need, but this should be basically everything you need to know. And just remember to always keep your computer plugged in and a fan on it will definitely help the frame rate and the VR work way better than you would expect. I hope this helped you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.